With the transfer window set to slam shut in a week's time, we did put up a poll two weeks ago about where will Shanklin go. We put four options, Rangers, Celtic, stay at Hearts or move to England with the infamous dollar sign that really should have been a pound sign, but you know what, right? Big money move. It means dollars. It means millions of dollars down in England. And 2.1k votes we got. I honestly thought... By this time in the window, I think Shanklin's future would have been done. I thought he would have already have signed on the line with Hearts, or he would have easily have went to Rangers. Because if we're being honest, there's not really been that much interest for any teams in England. And that's not me saying that he's not worth it. Everyone knows my thoughts on Lauren Shanklin. Celtic, I mean, it's pretty much Celtic fans saying, yeah, we should sign him so Rangers don't sign him. We know what the links have been. It's everyone saying, oh, Rangers, that oh, daily record. Oh, Lauren Shanklin spot it in a Rangers bar. Oh, that's piss that they just pluck it a thin air, right? But 2.1 thousand votes, that's an incredible amount of votes. So thank you guys so much. And we look at the answers, over 54% of the folk went to Rangers. And then in second place, stay at hearts. And honestly, if I had to say one option right now, it would be stay at hearts. I would agree with the 17%. But yeah, two week out of date, folks. Guys, third place, move to England. I don't see it happening, but I would say I probably see more chances of that than Celtic. Even, well, I say that, I mean, he is a Rangers man, but if Celtic came in and Rangers didn't come in, would he stay at Hearts over going to Celtic? Which, you know, if he went to Celtic, I think that pretty much guarantees Celtic the league. You've got two strikers, the calibre of Kyogo and Shankland. One could get injured and it wouldn't matter because he's got another one. I think it would be game over, hell, if Rangers don't sign Shankland, I think it's game over, but uh, yeah, we'll go down to your comments here and see what people think on the matter. Hair Force one says, as if Rangers have 5 million to spend, they barely have a pot to piss in. Well, buddy, Rangers are forking out 4.5 million on Mohamed Diamonde, so they've clearly got money to spend, but for some reason they don't want to spend it on Lauren Shankland. I don't really know why. Uh, Ian says he'll go to a club at the bottom end of the Premier League. He's been linked with Sheffield United for the last few windows, so that's one to watch, especially as the new manager's having a clear out this window. Here, he might want to go to Sheffield United. He might want to go to the Premier League, but I think you'd rather go to a Premier League team that ain't going to get relegated. And you, you look at the bottom of the Premier League, it's pretty much nailed on between Burnley, Luton and Sheffield United. Yeah, we've got the pending charges that could be implied to Everton and Nottingham Forest, but the longer that goes on, you don't really know, and th th I think the teams above them are, I was going to say they're a step above, no, they're not really a step above, there's no reason why Lauren Shankland wouldn't start for Bournemouth, Dominic Solanke, I, that guy is so fucking brilliant, I I'm convinced if Lauren Shankland went to any Premier League team, he could have an impact, and I'm not suggesting, right, he'd go to Manchester City and start over Alvarez and Haaland, but... Are you trying to tell me how uh, Shankland wouldn't score goals in that City team if those two were injured? Of course he would. Now, that's maybe down to the fact it's Man City, but you look at other teams, like the top teams, look at look at Chelsea. What, what options have they got for What, Nicholas Jackson? He's pish. Arsenal? Yeah, he's so very technical, but when it comes to putting the ball in the back of the net, mince. That Hoysland guy for United, the best thing about him is that guy on TikTok that does the songs. Uh, other teams, I'm trying to think, Tottenham, I mean, he's a better finisher than Richarlison. Richarlison is mince. He's absolute pish. But anyway, I'm not trying to sell Shankland to England. I'm just trying to say that I think he could cut the mustard down there. I really think he could. Janice says, I've opted England purely on finances, but on my heart, Rangers, yeah. We'll have to wait. But then it's like finances, but if you're paying four and a half million for a defender, what's the reason for not getting them? Kenneth Elliott says 2.8 million for him. Uh, Stuart Kane says, Shankland, the Celtic Slayer, definitely should get him. But can't see him leaving this window. If he gets a big move, it'll be in the summer. And this is all before the contract he was offered by Hearts. Uh, Lisa says, I wasn't one for Shankland, but I'm being honest, we should go all in for him. If we want to win this league, we need him as Dessers. Just won't do it. He's never a Rangers number nine. He's not even fit enough to be the kit man. I work in the chaos in the stadium. Never mind a Rangers striker. I'd be surprised if he could strike a match. Jesus, Dessers getting buried. And you know what? As this season goes on, Dessers is beginning to return a pretty good, you know, pretty good numbers up front. But I said at the start of the season, or even at any point, if you play up front for Rangers and Celtic, right, and if you're the starting guy, whether that be the injuries or whatever, and you don't have a decent goal return, you're doing something wrong. Just the fact that you're playing lower opposition week in, week out, you're going to have inflated numbers. And that's not to suggest if you play for Rangers and Celtic, 
you know, you've got to get 40 goals a season or else you're pish. But the fact is, if he's starting up front for Rangers, more often than not, he's going to score goals. And if you look at all his goals, right, yeah, good goal against Hibs, great goal against Betis. But see, more often than not, every ball's whipped into the... He doesn't even know it, but it just bounces off him. Remember against Motherwell, the 1-0? I think Seema shot, it just flicked off him. Against Servette, ball whipped into the box, it was literally on the line, and even that he almost missed. The guy scores the pishest goals known to man. It just, I think it's just proof, like, anyone could play up front and grab goals. And here, I don't want to go in a Rangers player as much as I need to, but the reality is, I see that guy being number, you know, going past this window, and that's what I'm worried about. Uh, ben says, Rangers won't pay £5 million for another play in Scottish football. He will stay with us till the summer, I think, and hope. Because he's a Hearts fan. Uh, Clem Fandango says, move to England with the local currencies. Apparently the dollar. Ha! <laughs> it looks that way. It definitely looks that way. Um, Rangers got the Portuguese guy. They can't afford both. If Celtic want them, they'll, they're keeping it awfully quiet. They are. Uh, FL says he would be sitting on the bench at Celtic, so that would be pointless. Um, Gavin Rad says, I thought his name was Lawrence. Did I call him? Ah, Will Shanklin. Ha <laughs> ha! That's brilliant. That's, that's really brilliant. Uh, Tim Celtic says, well, if he wants to win the league, join Celtic. Uh, the Diana says Hearts being Sevco lovers will sell him to Sevco for a few million quid I would, if, they were, if they were that much of Sevco lovers they would give us some for free wouldn't they Stuart says I would be very surprised if Rangers move for Shankland I think most of the talk has been from fans and media no one knows if Big Phil even wants him there was talk that he's not in his top three targets as Phil wants to forward at his pace and can play either forward of the positions only way I see him at Rangers if he stays at Hearts till the end of his contract during the summer when he will have a year left and his price will be no more than two million. Here, you know what? I'm all for Big Phil wanting his own players, right? Because you know what? I think that helps at a team. But the reality is, this guy has proven to score honours and honours of goals, as Shanklin said himself, in this league. I don't I, honestly, that's where the manager should be overruled. If the manager wants a certain style of player, right, to play at fucking left back or right back, it doesn't really matter because you know what? They don't really contributing the goals and assists, even though Tav does. Haha, <laughs> and Gilmas did yesterday. I think the striker is the one position where, you know what, the board should go, well, you know what, yeah, you want to play a certain style, but this guy bangs in 30 goals a season, so your style has been triumphed here by the main man, trumped by Shankland. I think the board should overrun him. Um, Paddy says Celtic won't even think about him. Stuart Robb saying, at that age, nah. For Celtic, go for the dandy Don striker and put him alongside Kyogo and go out with two up top and score for fun all week long. When was the last... See, where, that's what I'm saying. See, Rain doesn't sell to. When was the last time they actually played two up top? Like, and a, a legit two up top? I mean, for Celtic, it's probably since the days of Larson, Sutton, uh, Hartson. We see... I, I mean, the old... What's the fucking excuse, though, at home? I, even, like, even, like, away to Dumbarton, it's like, oh, we've got, we've got to still play the same formation. At least a few years ago with Rangers, though, they did change up in Europe under Geo and they're under the final where you've seen like three or whatever you want to call it three or five at the back it's so repetitive for the old firm stick two up top now yeah if they're chasing a the game they'll fire everybody up top but um Big Sock says that other mob have victims to pay so they're at the windy John McGray says Shank will, will go to Rangers Easily Amused says he won't go to the Rangers as he'll cost money ha <laughs> woo um Michael Hoy says don't think the Rangers can afford they owe him, they owe over 80 million and creditors will be scared to loan more money. Bad risk, they might get liquidated again. Stevie says he's crap anyway. Hardling Graham says he's not good enough for the money move to England. He'll most likely stay at Hearts. And Davy G says, give them Lammers and 2 million. And that is where we're going to leave the comments. Seems like a bit less than 100, but when about 50% of your comments are people just going back and forth between Tim, Zombie, your club's deed, your club touches kids. We've been there a million times before. We're not going to read it out unless it's actually a video based on that. How could that happen, though? We'll have to come up with one in the future. But until next time, Lauren Shankland, I think he's staying at Hearts. This poll is outdated. But the fact of the matter is this. Rangers are not coming in with a bid. And if they are, what are they waiting on? They need to get the finger out. So until next time, peace.